Let's take a small project that consists of two groups of tasks. Each group includes five subtasks. Each task lasts one day, what makes eight hours. Columns, estimation, and costs have zero values by default. In order to calculate the cost of a task, we need to assign this task to a resource. We go to the People button. You will find there all the resources available on this project. In Gantt Pro, there are two kinds of resources, real team members and virtual resources. The latter, in their turn, fall into three types, a labor resource, a material resource, and resource with a fixed cost. A labor resource is calculated per hour, a material resource per item. For a resource with a fixed cost, you can set any cost not taking into consideration hours and items. So let's set the cost per hour for our resource and assign a task. By default, the values are set per hour. For example, the working hour costs $5. We go back to our project and assign task 1 to this resource. As the task lasts 8 hours, the estimation will get the same values by default. But if you need, you can change it. In the cost column, we see 40. This is the result of multiplication of $5 by 8 working hours. Now, let's take the cost for a material resource. We go to the People button again. For example, I have Resource A, and I set the cost per item for it. For instance, one item of Resource A costs $10. We go back to our project and assign task 2 to resource A. Let's say we need to use 5 items for this task. In the cost column, we see 50. This is the result of multiplication of 5 items by $10. Please note that in this case, the duration of the task does not affect cost calculation. Now, let's take the case when you need to set the fixed task cost regardless of working hours and items. We go to the People button again, and in the Virtual Resource section, we set the cost value for Resource B. We go to the project where we assign Task 3 to the Resource B. Now, we can set any cost for this task. Let's set $150. In the Cost columns, we see $150. Note that you can assign a task to more than one resource and with different calculation values. For example, I assign task 6 to the team member and resource A. The team member is supposed to work 8 hours and use 5 items of resource A. In the cost columns, we see 90. This is the result of the multiplication of 8 working hours by $5 and 5 items by $10. Then, these results were summed up. In practice, it can be a builder who needs to install five doors within an eight-hour working day. Please note all the subtask costs are automatically summed up and are reflected in the group of tasks cost. At the same time, the costs of all groups of tasks are summed up and reflected in the whole project cost. For now, we are done. What kinds of cost values do you use more often? Labor, material, or with fixed cost? Please leave your comments below and plan your projects with Gantt Pro.